Ever wondered why some men vehemently oppose dating single mothers, yet they themselves have abandoned their own children? Welcome to the world of contradictions, where words and actions often don't align, and hypocrisy is the order of the day. Today, we're peeling back the layers of this paradox, where men who are quick to pass judgments on single mothers conveniently overlook their own shortcomings. Picture this, a man who proudly proclaims his disdain for single mothers, only to be unmasked as a father who has left his own children in the lurch. Or consider another scenario where a man criticizes single mothers yet supports his male friends who've left women to raise their children alone. These men, quick to judge and slow to self-reflect, are a living contradiction, a paradox in action. It's a head-scratcher, right? It's a paradox, isn't it? Let's dive deeper into this hypocrisy. What if I told you that this hypocrisy stems from a place of deep-seated shame and insecurity? Let's delve into the world of narcissism and projection, where the male narcissist, like an adept magician, uses women as mirrors to deflect their own shame and insecurities. Consider the earlier scenarios. These men who are quick to judge single mothers are often the same ones neglecting their own children. Yet rather than owning up to their actions, they choose to cast blame elsewhere. The mother of their child, for instance, becomes an easy target. The failure isn't theirs, they argue, but the fault of the woman who won't let them see their child. Yet isn't it curious that these same men often support their male friends who also abandon their families? It's an intricate dance of deflection and denial, where the truth becomes distorted and responsibility is evaded. The projection of their own shame and fear of exposure is a classic narcissistic move. Now that we've unveiled the hypocrisy, how can women stand up against such projection and manipulation? Firstly, it's pivotal to recognize the signs of manipulation and projection. If someone's words and actions don't align, that's a red flag. Secondly, setting boundaries is crucial. If a man is not respecting your values or trying to project his insecurities onto you, it's time to draw the line. Say, I am not the screen for your projection. Own your actions. Thirdly, prioritize self-care. It's easy to lose yourself in the chaos of such situations. Take a step back, breathe, and remember that your worth is not defined by their actions or words. Remember the scenarios we discussed earlier? Each woman confronted the hypocrisy and stood up for herself. They refused to accept blame for the man's actions and chose to prioritize their own peace and well-being. Remember, ladies, your worth is not defined by someone else's hypocrisy or projection. Stand tall, stand strong.